Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Now we are arriving at the final final days of the summer and uh, it's starting to feel really like autumn now. The leaves are turning, temperatures are on a good good drop at the moment. Uh, mind you we had a crap summer. I think it's the the coldest summer we had in over 10 years here so but we definitely start to feel a little pinch in the air and that autumn autumnal feel uh that's coming with it so yeah that means only one thing it means like the pike are finally gonna start to move and uh yeah we're coming to this this nice hot moment so so i wanted to talk about a technique that i use and i use with a great amount of success uh at this time of the year and a lot of people think that um autumn time you start to get the dead baits you start to get the fish the deep holes uh, or the ledges in front of the deep holes but uh, a lot of people miss really good opportunities still in the shallows um, when you start to get this first frost and even before that once you start to have that vegetation uh, that summer vegetation dying like lily pads reeds weeds uh, potamo uh, all that sort of um, margin vegetation starts to die off it's a fantastic place for fish and it still holds a lot of fish and for a good reason is that all the micro life and worms and snails and what you have that were feeding and moving and living into that vegetation in the summer now everything is dying off so their home is disappearing for the winter so they have to go back in the mud or wherever they live on the rock for the winter time and that leaves a lot of feeding action from roach from perch from all sorts of fish uh, come rooting in there and get a bit of feed before their winter for their winter preparation and of course pikes love uh, to stay in these places and one thing we've noticed over the years is that pike absolutely love to just lay inside that vegetation like a like a camo net uh, they sometimes don't even swim around it they just sit there and they they could have like a, a dense vegetation if you can imagine all that vegetation that was growing straight nice and straight now everything is crumbling down but it's not flat on the ground yet it's not completely decomposed it's still holding so this is giving lots of room to maneuver for pike and they absolutely love just to stay in ambush in there and one way that absolute for me the way i love fishing with this uh, for this is to use like big rubber lures because they're starting to appreciate uh, a bigger size of a bait where we're not in the summer months now the temperature is dropping so they start to have a feel for a bigger bigger bite and um, I really like fishing soft rubbers um, because of all the vegetation I usually fish with less now one problem to fish big rubbers uh, with less effectively and to be able to hook your pike is the the hook the main big problem is to find the right hook now thankfully uh, because before I had to root for some usually owner beasts that cost an absolute bomb uh, I used to have to import them from Asia and they were silly money like but now we have like that uh, new brand like what well, not really new now everybody knows and rave about them but BKK have a fantastic uh, Texan hook now and this is the what is it the titan rider so this is the one really really nice nice hook i love the shape of it uh strong wire it's not gonna it's not gonna open i didn't have any opening but one of the main thing is that they go up to a massive and impressive 18 knot yeah that's one zero eighteen and uh, they're like butcher hooks but trust me in a, in the in the mouth of a, of a large bike because this is what we're looking for uh it'll fit no problem uh so simple as you can see some example of lures that i like using type of uh, lures that are usually people would say it's more for vertical fishing for zander fishing you see something uh, like this but i like the fork tail uh like uh, the big slug for monster gear is a good one 
I find it a little bit stiff compared to um, a finesse from Lunker City. That's a lot more softer material, and they still still resist quite well. Uh, I think these ones are the Swartzonker. First time I'm using these, so um, they look they look quite good. A big long tail on them. Now the reason I like to use these V tails is that they they just tend to tangle less in there because. The way I'm fishing in, in this rotten vegetation is that I just don't spin, cast and spin over the top of it. I like to drag it, drag it in even, let it drop, give it a couple of drags really slow, lift it up a couple of times, let it drop. You really have to play with that bait. And for that, you just, Texan hook is the, 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 the best, the best way to go. Especially these ones, uh, I really like the way they have like a, a rubber little nudge here a uh, little bead that you can actually push your bait that into your bait and this is holding the hook really nice and tight so like that you have absolutely no weed without the need of uh, pinching your bait because sometimes you, you you had to pinch the tip of the hook to make sure it's completely weedless but with this little bead like that you can really push it against the the hook and uh, it's absolutely totally weedless so this is how yeah I fish them. Um, a lot of the shad type, I fish them as well. Uh, if uh, there's not too much tangle, if the vegetation allows you, without pulling too hard in it. So something like uh, I like fishing that size of a Dexter. You can go even to the size bigger with these big BKK hooks. So this is a nice 15, 17 centimeter Dexter. Uh, one ultra favorite of mine is the the soft foreplay in I think 19 centimeter. Now this is a fantastic type of lure for that fishing that in vegetation even in the summertime. Uh, I fished this like for, for since they came out and if you notice this is the way they sell them they have the open body so you can hook them uh, Texan style but I always hook them sideways. The reason for that is that your fish is gonna look really sick because you're not reeling in with uh, on a constant linear fashion that bait is not going to spin around because you hooked it to the side i'm just going to make it flutter and believe me if you hook it to the side like this it just looks absolutely like really like a dying fish even one with a paddle it really really looks good so you'll see if you pull too much it's going to start having that like a propeller effect and you do not want that you just want that bait to get kicking and falling down into the lily pads into that dead vegetation and drag your hook through it um, other type of bait that works well as well is the big little grub type like that they seem to like them or uh, again something that they used to have and see during the the summer is frogs now this is an absolute massive one this is on the 16 knot uh, Texan hook on these uh, fantastic BKK hooks so uh, yeah there you go food for thought so you can do that as well with um, uh, on the fly I suppose just uh, get a nice um, weedless presentation uh, and just yeah don't go, don't fish too fast in there because they, they, they are sitting in these places sometimes and uh, they're just like waiting for something to come very very opportunistic type of fishing for them but of, of hunting but it, it really really pays off for the pike so uh, the gear I like to use as well for that I don't like to use too heavy gear because I like to feel exactly what's happening especially on some of these baits when they suck them in sometimes you might just feel a tiny little bump before it's too late and this they, they spit the bait back out so you want a bit of sensitivity uh, so I like to fish that on a, on a spinning spinning outfit something that's not too too heavy something that's medium medium heavy um, at the moment I'm using what is this one this is a Westin I think this is the ultra stick it's um, I think it's uh, up to 50, 50, 60 grams, but I push them a little bit more than that. I probably pull throw 80 grams with that easy. Uh, but nice outfit, light, uh, strong enough for the moment. Uh, I had no no issues. Um, yeah, you can put a good bit of pressure with that outfit uh, without within within reason. Like, but uh, 
yeah good strong braid as well make sure you have a nice strong braid strong snap if you use snaps uh, I usually like to tie a knot uh, from my leader use the uh, kind of a, my usual red uh, bleeding wire from uh, American fishing wire just knotted nice neat knot even a little uh, a little piece of uh, shrink tube over the knot so like that you have nothing that hooks and as you can see all my baits uh, all have a split ring on it so from that knot uh, on the leader I like to put a little solid uh, solid ring and then all the all the lures are equipped with a split ring so like that I have minimum chances of uh, of entanglement in that vegetation so yeah that's uh, if you want to try it, try it, and you'll be surprised for how long pikes uh, stay in this vegetation. We we see them up till November, uh, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, don't don't uh, rule out the shallows now uh, yet. So give it some time and keep keep them robbers alive. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.